Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This will be my second whatever video where I just try to speak my mind with whatever comes by. Um, first of all, the reason why I hope to be like Stanley in particular is because I watched his documentary twice when he was still alive, and he has gone through a lot. Like when he was a kid, he wanted to be uh, an actor. His very first job was working at a pants making factory, and he grew up having to share a foldable couch bed with his brother. And, um,. Eventually, he got a job working at Timely Comics, where he tried his best to make comic books work, but Frederick Wardham made the stereotype that almost ruined the corporation of comic books as a whole. But he almost quit his job. But one day, his wife told him that he should make a story that he would like to see. And that statement is what not only kept him from quitting his job, but also inspired him to create all the sacred celestial heroes and villains that we've known from Marvel. And that's basically what immortalized his legacy. The fact that he's gone through ups and downs and was still able to succeed, I just hope that despite any downs, I could find my ups. Another thing, one of my staff keep telling me that I need to add scripts to my videos. But I wanted to avoid writing a script because I want to feel as natural as possible and therefore relatable to you guys. Do you guys truly want me to write down scripts? Because I want to be as relatable and as understandable as possible and I also learned that making a video is like having a conversation. If you talk about what other people like, then the conversation would be worth it. But if you're biased on yourself, then it would be a dud. I really hope that um, I could be able to succeed in that factor. Like, I want to introduce my Leviathan universe, but at the same time, I don't want to seem biased. Like. I am doing them a favor, but at the same time, in order for me to do them that favor, I have to be considerate for you guys. And, um, long before I made my Leviathan universe, I had this really miserable stage of making these one page long, biased, like severely biased giant women storylines, and my grandfather and grandmother and other people I've known have been telling me that only a teenager would ever want to hear about any of those stories. And the fact that I went through that stage just still haunts me to this day. I don't want my creations to stoop down to that level. I don't want my creations to be labeled as adults only, if you know what I mean. Because otherwise, what are the chances that they would be social recognition? And yes, some of my characters are inspired from certain comics and such. But I will, I am, and I will do all in my power to make sure that they are never stooped at that level. Because what's even the point? I just feel so guilty bringing this up. I am sorry for my addiction. And I just hope that you guys could forgive me. And I hope it doesn't ruin my reputation like for Stephen King or Susan forbid, Bill Cosby. You know? Because it takes one mistake to ruin your future and have everybody want you just done for because... Reputation is sacred, and I just hope my reputation 
for myself and for my creations would stay as intact as possible. This is a long road, and I just really hope this all would work. Thank you, everyone, for liking my San Diego videos and my Fanex videos and such. They had really big boosts for my creation's behalf, for my podcast and such. And I just hope to Susan's will that not only would it pay off, but I would also be there to watch it blossom. I just want to make this all work. Thank you for all this time, and I'll try to make some videos at some point in the next while in an undisclosed pacing and such. I know that it should be no further than seven days, but then again, what are the chances? Thank you for listening to me, if you still are. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. I just... It's not about fiction. It's about quality of life. And it's all thanks to Alan Parrish. He would always have my thanks. May his actor rest in peace. Hope you guys have a decent Halloween and such. And until next time, in transmission.